days of fog, I think I'm about to overdose on this debate. Um, but yeah, let's try to get a few questions from the audience now that we have about 10 minutes left and the speakers have places to go. Um, and yeah, go, go for it. Uh, this is a theological question uh, more so than anything else, and I was curious, I wanted to learn more about this. Was it uh, 586 BCE with the fall of Jerusalem and, uh, by the Babylonians? Uh, that was the start of the Jewish diaspora. Um, I've heard, I don't know how popular this idea is, but I've heard that um, the Jews no longer have a right to Israel after that diaspora. Are you familiar with that sentiment at all? And if so, um, how popular is it within um, the Jewish community? I mean, I'm not saying that. I mean, I don't mean, I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean, are there a lot of women that are arguing? What's the basis for that? The argument is, is that because of the sins of the Isra Israelites, that they uh, they got that's they why they that's why the diaspora occurred. divine divine punishment divine punishment correct how do you feel about it? oh I I I want to learn more and I wanted to see if there was any if there was a lot of literature or if it was kind of just like a more like a, a minority idea where it's, just it's, a, like, it's a it's a it's a marginal <clears throat> theological view that's um, that's held by um, uh, you know by 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 some ultra orthodox anti Zionists and um, in a, I would say that in a very moderate way, there are uh, less extreme Orthodox Jews who are, I would say, lukewarm about 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 a Jewish state. But you know, it evades a central issue, which is, no matter how you are politically, no matter where you sit, even if you're an opponent of Zionism, you have a desire that's built into Judaism as a religion to live in the land of Israel. So the, so all, so the argument is, is not, it's not a nice argument. It, 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 I mean, not only is it faulty, but it's an in, there's an internal Jewish debate about this theological question. But every Jew, every religious Jew, grows up dreaming of Jerusalem, of, of, of the land in some way, and has a share in that. So, there's no disconnection. The dis there was never a disconnect throughout history. I mean, the theological structure is divine punishment. Exile is divine punishment, but the, the, the aim is constantly that of repair. Yeah. That's constantly the aim. Somebody once said there was never in the history of man a uh, demonstration of uh, yearning as much as the yearning to return to Zion among the Jews. For 1,900 years, Every time our ancestors prayed, which is three times a day, every time there was a wedding, every time there was a bris, Chaim could go on at length about this. There were billions and billions of moments for 1,900 years of returning to Zion. How do you, how do you deny See, that? See, that's why, that's why there is, there is a re when, when Jews hear Palestinians or Arabs denying the, the Jewish connection to the land, it turns us oh, we, 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 what, even those of us who want to exactly. extend a hand yeah. say, what are you talking about? Right. How can I talk to you? Basis You're denying my, my identity. Completely. It pulls the carpet out of any basis for discussion. You got it. Thank you. It does. And uh, by the way, that occurs on campus, unfortunately. There are people who think that that's a smart thing to say. Deny Jewish people who are in a connection to individual. It, it, it doesn't go anywhere. It, it, it goes backwards, actually. <coughs> yes. Okay. 